That almost looks like a superhero spandex outfit. That's exactly what it is. Just up top, though. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And we are back because another trailer on top of the 83 trailer that dropped uh, last night. But this one was more at an unreasonable hour for us. I think it was like 4.30 in the morning. I was deep in my REM cycle. Uh, Me too. (laughs) So (laughs) we didn't wake up for this one. I apologize. (laughs) But hopefully um, you are okay with that. Some of you will not be. I already know. That's fine. Uh, but uh, That's another right. big trailer, um, this one time a Malayalam trailer with Mohanlal. Uh, this is called Marak- Marakar. Right? Sure. The yeah. Lion of the Arabian Sea Grand Trailer. Yes. Is it a grand trailer or is it Sea Grand? No, it's the Lion of the Arabian Sea Grand, grand Trailer. trailer. Uh, yes, because... We're, we've we've entered a new realm. We've got we've got the teasers. We've got the uh, trailers. We have now the grand trailers. But I, all I know about this one is that it's a big uh, the I reveals. Don't, I don't know if it's like a, a historical, like if it's like a thing from actual history. But it's it's one of those. It's like a big right. big thing. Um, and yeah. it has Mohan Lal, so you know it's going to be a massive, massive, massive. Um, so, yep. all right, you ready? I am ready, sir. Three, two, one. I have come with an army of 6,000 men, cavalry and artillery. Stop the atrocities from Jolly Marocco forever. Wow. Massive I want to face at my feet, dead or alive. Unyali ever to hold it in the eat Chandra Mas and Gary from Yali, but I couldn't do another. The train of the man and Lurupo Rally. Where would you put the body I pointing in? December 2nd? It did. Holy... Like, <laughs> and this is like the first trailer for it? Like, yeah. For like a big <laughs> epic film like this? Like, that's like in two I know. days. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's insane. Uh, yeah, it looked like big and it gave me lots of vibes of honestly Pirates of the Caribbean in terms of a lot of shots even. Like some of the castle shots look like the castle that um, Elizabeth fell off in the beginning and Jack jumped off of her. Oh. They had a hanging uh, skeleton. They had so a lot of it. Maybe it was just the ship thing, and it was, you know, because pirates and all that kind of stuff. But it gave me lots of vibes of like that style. I'm not saying it looked like they were trying to do Pirates of the Caribbean because I know some of you accuse me of saying that, 
That's not what I'm saying. But um, it looked absolutely massive. <laughs> this is good, yeah, which is why massive and it, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's so insane that something this massive. I know they've had like announcements, and like little stuff like that, but like a full blown trailer, like two days before the film drops. Right. I mean, I guess they're like it's Mohanlo that he has enough of a following. Nobody, nobody cares. Like, but even like eighty three, which is not like a big like um, historical epic style of film, which are like these big style of films. It's a, almost a month in advance. It could be, you know, maybe they're thinking as the same thing with like impulse buying. When you go to the checkout counter and you see something at the last minute, you think to yourself, I got to have that. Maybe they're thinking we can capitalize on folks who have been waiting or maybe didn't even hear about this. And they realize, oh, my goodness, I want to go see this. And they'll go right now on the heels of the excitement on the trailer. I mean, it, like it looked really, really good. It, I a lot of times it looked like there was big, massive sets. Even some of the CGI looked like it was really nice CGI in it. Really nice. Um, so that's that's always a positive. You don't. I'm hoping. You know, I never want a film unless they have like Avatar money to rely like on CGI. You know, um, of course. Yeah. As much because if they don't put the money that it requires, it can look cheesy. Um, but if it can give you like vibes of. Um, what was that film that we saw? It was Syrah, right? It was Syrah, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we really enjoyed, uh, or was it Tahanji? I can't remember. They were both big epics. Um, but like this, the, like we like we enjoyed the film, but some of the CGI wasn't up to snuff in it. Right. Um, right. This, I mean, all the CGI that I saw looked really, really good. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm intrigued. It looks really good. Um, I, 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 it looks, as you said, epic. No, nothing. Obviously, if this is a story that's known, obviously know nothing about it. Uh, but if this got a wide theatrical release, I absolutely. This looks like it's absolutely something you want to experience on the big screen. Yeah, the story of a legendary Kanjali Marakar and his epic warfare against the Portuguese. All right. Uh, they didn't look terrible, but uh, I would always be worried about white actors in. Indian film as well. Always. Yeah. Um, Always. But I mean, they didn't look terrible in this. So that's, that's good. But you know, you only heard them like once or twice. Um, yeah. If they, hopefully it's going the way of like Sardar Udan, which is now like, okay, let's maybe invest a little money into these white actors. And so they don't mm-hmm. try to ruin the film <laughs> by hiring just a rando yeah. uh, actor off of the street. That's never a good that's right. never a good decision. Uh, Mohano it's very, very, very rarely works. Mohano looks. How old is Mohano? He's Rajnikanth age. I he, think. You think he's seventy? I think they're comparable. I think so. I think he's comparable. I could be way off, but I thought they were peers as far as their age range. Uh, age sixty-one. He looks great. Oh, he's yeah, he's a little younger. He looks. He looks fantastic. He looks fantastic for yeah. Rajnikanth and Mamudi are both seventy. Uh, okay, he's right here. But uh, Mohanlo is sixty-one, which he looks absolutely 61. fantastic. Um, is this a real like? Is this based off a real of story? A, a real person at all, or is this a completely? It sounded like it was a fictional story. No, the description you read made it sound like it was something that's from a, a real, a real person and a real story. Yeah, um, I'm, that'd be super interesting. Yeah, it looked absolutely big, epic, massive. And there was another actor in there I thought I recognized, and I don't know if I recognized him from something like Baku Bali. Um, this There's, doesn't help. He's uh, bearded. Uh, Sunil Shetty. Uh, yes, that was it. He's from, what is he from that we've seen? I'm, trying, I'm looking on his IMDb. Uh, I don't see anything. I recognize the name. Sunil yeah, exactly. Shetty, but and I'm pretty sure that's who I saw. He was in Om Shanti Om. Maybe he was in that song. Uh, <laughs> um, he has a lot of credits. Uh, yeah, I recognize the name, but I'm not seeing and, anything and, that we've seen. 
and it could be just from because we've seen them in a bunch of trailers. Yeah, that's very possible. Anyways, yeah, that looked really, really good. Uh, big, epic, something that you'd like to see in the theaters most likely um, because yeah. you can appreciate stuff that's even stuff that's like, like, like we said, Saira or, or, or Tahanji, which both we enjoyed. We probably enjoyed it more than we probably would have if we saw it at home uh, because of, you know, you get the big sound and the big screen and it, it lends to right. the enjoyment of a film. It's just the the beauty and the magic of a theater. Um, yep. But yeah, that looked really good. What should be, we need to obviously explore Mohan a lot more than we have. Yeah. He's criminally yeah. underexplored yeah. by us. Uh, and that's not on purpose, even though some of you might think it is. <laughs> We don't do that, but <laughs> we don't, we don't have a very particular thing. Okay. Let's make sure we avoid that. And, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the trailer and, uh, what should be the next Mohanla besides obviously this one that we should watch. Let us know down below. Josh!